Hey guys, JK here. Today we're going to be mixing with royalty. We're taking a look at the elegant Arabian horses of RDR2, typically ridden by players who have either glitched, robbed or worked themselves to the bone to earn enough to afford one of these superior horses. Right, let's take a look at the Rose Grey Bay Arabian, which is available from the Blackwater Stables after Epilogue 1. And this horse will cost you $1,250. Not cheap, but worth every penny. Statistics speak louder than words. Let's take a look. Speed 6. Acceleration 6. Remember, these can be bulked up with bonding. The handling of all Arabians is elite class. Health 7. And Stamina 7. The Rose Grey Bay Coat is one of my favourites. I never get tired of looking at its luminous colours that seem to change when looked at from different angles and different light. Right, next is the Black Arabian, available for purchase at St. Denis Stables after Chapter 4 for $1050. Let's take a look at the statistics. The Black Arabian has 6 speed, which maxes at 9, and 6 acceleration which maxes at 8. Handling is Elite, Health 6 and Stamina 6. The Midnight Black Coat of this Arabian highlights the superiority and authority carried by this magnificent horse. One of the earliest Arabians you can get in RDR2 is the White Arabian, which spawns in the wild near Lake Isabella from Chapter 2. I enjoyed the challenge of capturing this White Arabian, I must say. It took a while to get close enough to the horse. You have to keep the horse calm, you keep spamming the calm button. Right. And uh, once you get up close that the Arabian allows you to pat it, then you can take the chance of jumping on its back. And now your next challenge is trying to stay on this uh, demon possessed horse. <laughs> it makes some uh, pretty scary sounds. And uh, I found that if you use the left stick moving it backwards each time it bucks you, it helps you to stay on the horse until it accepts you as the new owner. And it starts to calm down. But uh, a lot of fun. Eventually, we were happy with each other. Let's check out the statistics. The White Arabian has 6 speed, which maxes at 9, and 6 acceleration, which maxes at 8. Again, as all Arabians, handling is elite. This horse starts with 5 health and 5 stamina. Upon reaching level 4 bonding, the health and stamina will max out at 8 apiece. This is really a beautiful coat. There's something ethereal about it, as if it's got a spiritual power that emanates from it. It's really cool. Don't be fooled by the price. The White Arabian may cost you your nose, some fingers, perhaps some toes to frostbite. Other than that, it's free. Last but not least, the Red Chestnut Arabian is unfortunately only available in Red Dead Online. You can acquire this exotic horse for $250 when stables become available to you. Arabians have been given the title of superior horses due to their incredibly high spread of statistics. Not only that, but they're the only horses in the elite handling class. As you can imagine, this means they're very agile horses and may take some getting used to their sensitive handling. Arabians are fairly small compared to other popular horse breeds in RDR2, such as the Thoroughbred or Missouri Foxtrotter. That being said, they're spirited, highly strung horses who require a lot of firm handling. Interestingly enough, in real life, the purebred especially are whip smart and highly inquisitive, very personable and always interested in what you're up to. They're bright, happy horses, totally tuned into people and always eager to please. 
keep in mind when you're out in the wild these guys will buck you off at the sight of predators and often before you've even spotted the wild animal yourself so you could end up in some sticky situations culminating in some unplanned deaths during your game i must say being highly strung horses i thought they'd be a problem in combat but this hasn't been my experience so far i've found them to be incredibly reliable when under fire which in part is thanks to their good health and excellent agility as you'll see in this next clip the arabian is fairly calm under fire as i fire shots around the horse including close to its feet it gets a little agitated but uh, it's not the end of the world you need to head over to this position here on the map in saint denis this is where horses will quite often randomly spawn the exciting thing being that the horses that spawn will be from the full cross section of breeds available in rdr2 that is from the simple morgan right up to a fancy arabian as we can see now there are two horses that have spawned here already let's go and have a look and and see uh, what breed they are ah this tennessee walker and the other one over here looks like a morgan I th yes a morgan right guys so what we do is we'll there are two things we can do we can save at that point and then exit the game and go back in and new horses will have spawned or if we just go straight up this main street here and turn around at the top where i'll show you now that will also activate a respawn of horses so the choice is yours for the purposes of this video i'm just going to go up and down the street once or twice to show you guys that new horses spawn there um, regularly it's like a lucky dip really you don't know what's going to spawn right let's take a look okay yes there are two new horses there again a tennessee walker and yeah another morgan okay not to worry let's take a quick ride up the street and back and uh, see what uh, spawns next right let's take a look i think there's only one black horse there a kentucky saddler all right well there you go they keep changing and you've just got to be patient depends how badly you want to get a really decent horse for free if you haven't got the budget this is an excellent way you spend i don't know possibly even if it's an hour going backwards and forwards until you get the uh, the breed that you're looking for they might be a tad skittish at times but overall the arabian comes through time and again usually leaving you on top of your game thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new destroy the like button punch subscribe and kick that notification bell straight in the nuts thanks for watching see you in the next video cheers for now